Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. Happy 2024. You guys are amazing. Thank you for being here for all this time. I think we started in 2021 and it has been insanity ever since. My life is better. It's more fun. We get to snark on people. I get to have a ton of fun doing it with you. We are awesome together, you and I. So thank you for being here. Let me start this whole year off right by saying thank you, thank you, thank you. I get to do a lot of cool things like make fun of people like Kira today. It's going to be awesome. I mean, which better way to kick off the new year than talk about Kira's wedding? Because that's what we're going to do today. And so obviously this new year is going to bring a lot of cool new things. Not right off the top, but it is going to be awesome. And so Kira was one of my biggest stories of 2023. It was great. Doc and dozen, lots of great stories. And I'm sure there's going to be some great stories coming up soon, including not just family vloggers. It's going to be a great year for us all because we're expanding and we're going to have some fun. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. Anyway. Let's get to the snark. So Kira decided she's going to do a, a sex toy advertisement on her face, on her Instagram. And it, it's so funny because I commented that OnlyFans means only foreheads. She's got a lot more people coming to stand up for her, though. I think some people are like, okay, it's like, leave her alone. Leave Brittany alone. That's what they're all mad about. Like, what are you mad about? Why are you go to bat for somebody like this? This is like one of the worst people online. And the reason, again, I covered her and... It's not the only reason not to cover anymore, but because she was a family vlogger. And this is inevitably where this all leads for all of them. Because they live such disgusting lifestyles of exploitation. When you exploit others for your gain, karma's coming. And that is coming full blast for Kira. And it's not even here yet. We're just seeing the little inklings of karma right now. And it is great. Because when you do this to your family for your own selfish needs and wants, you're disgusting. And it should never be condoned or stood up for. Does that make any sense to anybody? Does, nobody should stand up for someone like Kira. She doesn't deserve it. She's gross. Disgusting in so many ways and just started off with the exploitation of children and morphed into the selfishness that she, that she exudes and that she inspires others to behave and inspires others to want. There are people that would be like, no, she's she's innocent. You know, do what you got to do for you. Let's let 2024 be the year of selflessness. No more of this. You deserve it. Yes, queen. Boss mom. Boss bitch. Boss dad. Dad bod. Boss dad. Enough of this bullshit. Okay? Enough of it. Let's be real. Let's start talking about how we can give and be better people to those around us. By making fun of those who don't do that. Okay? So let's get to this video. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely ghost-like. Like, what are you filming with here? Hi, guys. Welcome back. Now I'm trying to be quiet. And I can get it, get it, get it, get it. What? Where are you? <laughs> Debauchery is not good for you. It has not been good for you. That's what I'm saying. Debauchery has not been good for you. I don't know what else to say. it. It's just not been good for her. Okay? In many ways. <laughs> is, Tr is Preston trying to give her tips on things? Like, you don't know anything, Preston. You can go here. You don't know anything. You're filming with a microphone that looks like it's from Timo. Okay? I don't have to hold it like this. You don't have to hold it like this. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are doing the fifth round of a wedding Q&A that you guys have never seen. But we're going to film it many times in the first whatever reason. I've just never uploaded it. Shut up. Fifth wedding. Why do you, why do you care about her wedding? Why are people actually like, tell me about your wedding. You're getting eloped mint. <laughs> How's it going to go? Is anybody going to show up? Who are the people that are going to go there? How, like she says something like 70 to 80 people coming for what? Free booze? You know, are you inviting these people off the streets? We got free booze. Let's go. Everybody's marching down for free booze. It's out back at the Walmart. Where are you going to? Stop. Let me refill this. Why is it 10 minutes and you're using an O instead of a zero? <laughs> she gets I have to get my dress altered still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to film that Q&A and it got dark outside because it's early. I have a stack of content that I've yet to upload. And then I mm. Yes. 
because you're lazy. What else? Like, <laughs> Kira doesn't have a job. If you guys are new to this, she doesn't do anything. She doesn't go here. She parents her kids half the time. They go to school for most of the day. She has an assistant that she has hired. She also has press taint who can probably help her. Tries to anyway, and still doesn't have time to do the thing that pays her money. Like it's crazy to me. Get overwhelmed, so I decided to refilm it. The circle of life in my world. This is our last wedding Q and A. I also have a mic. It's your only one, isn't it? Or has there been more? Okay, but I, I was talking too close to it earlier, so I'm trying to keep it distant. The mic's not on. I don't know if you know this, Kira, or not. The mic isn't working. Because as you're moving it, it's not getting loud or quiet. It's not working. She's got it plugged in, and it's not even working. That is Kira. That is... If you're wondering how Kira's going, that's Kira. That's how she's going. She's got a mic that's not even working, and she thinks it's working. <laughs> idiot. It's, she's an idiot. I didn't even end up using the mic's audio for this video. Oh, did you not? Why not? Video. So excuse the... Because it wasn't working. I called it. I called it. Absurd thing in my head. How does that make you feel? She shouldn't have said anything because most plebs wouldn't understand that's not working. I hear it automatically. So you didn't have to say anything. People wouldn't even have known, but I would have told them. <laughs> what made me feel that is the fifth time filming? That's the last time. This is the last time. I need to get Just film the questions. We have one week until our wedding. Yeah, one up. week? Are they getting married this week? What? <laughs> Man, I wish I could be a fly in the wall at that wedding. Like, oh my gosh, if you're going to this wedding and you secretly hate Kira, please do me a favor. Please document it for me. Like, even if it's journaled, whatever. Please. Because I'm begging you, because she's not going to. She's only going to get a photographer and a videographer to get there and get all, like, the angles so it looks good. But I need to see... I cannot believe I'm just fam clapping, but I'm about to do it. I need to see this wedding from the inside, okay? I need to see it all. Please. Man, I don't watch reality t television. I would watch that. I would watch that live. Whoa. Should I be saying we're not even married yet? Relax. Yes. Start off with some simple ones from... He's like, yeah, shut up. I'll straight the questions. Yeah, this is... Everybody hates you, Kara. Even including this... Okay. Okay, what month is the wedding? January, dumbass. January. How many people are coming? So around 60. Uh, I thought it was 70, not 60, then it'll be 40, then it'll be 10, then it'll be nobody. And like 60 people, like you literally have 60 people in your life that are going to come to this wedding. You don't have one friend. So who? Extended family? Must be. That's the only thing I can think of. Like extended family, their friends. So technically, let's say there's no kids involved or kids allowed. Their kids are going to go. So her, including Preston, maybe his parents, his brother. I don't know if he has brothers and sisters, but those types of people. Immediate family that has to go because like they have to. That's probably like, let's say 12 to 15 people right there. Boom. Okay. The rest is going to be like 20 people, including their dates. That's how this is going to go. And I don't even know who she knows 20 people. I don't even understand how. Keep it that, keep it that simple, okay? But this is oh, is it about keeping it simple and not that you literally alienated every single person in your life from being complete and utter douche, douchebag to all your family and your ex? Is that, is it about keeping it simple? Because we know you love keeping things simple, like grammar. Speed round. We don't have one. I didn't want one. I don't like one. We went with a theme and it's called light and airy. We mostly went with whites to keep it light and airy, but we have some like black details. Like napkins and like napkins. Yeah, that would be napkins and napkins. That's nice. You have white napkins. Interesting. Get those at Costco. Yeah, well, make it pop a little more. Right. Um, What's making it pop? Do the kids have? Pause. I love the sage green, but I felt like in ten years I might not like sage green. Okay. What a stupid moronic statement, you dummy. You guys, we have a good sponsor today. This is the worst. Is this Preston doing your content now? Because you're fired, bro. I'm excited. It includes a giveaway, a good one. I look a little crazy. Oh, she doing the dildo ad in this one too. And that's that like, it's like a total scam. This company actually offered me to advertise dildos on my channel. And I was like, no, like you guys think I'll take money from it. I do not. Especially this, because it does not align with my values, um, like on this channel and stuff like that. I'm not, I'm not against this stuff. Like, go for it. Consenting adults, you should have some fun with that stuff. Go for it. It's awesome. But not on this channel, right? And not especially, like, if you have children on your channel and everything else on your Instagram. But it's it, it's a scam because, like, get a free one and you don't. They send you a coupon maybe for a discounted thing that's already marked up. So don't fall for this garbage, okay? 
Hey, wow. I mean, what's new? Let's be for real, especially this time of year. Wedding time, Christmas. Anyways. Okay, worked with this brand, I think, like, over a year ago, and I have- And, like, nobody wants to work with me anymore. We'll see how it goes. But, like, this one will work with anybody because they're trash. They're trash. Don't buy this garbage, everybody. If you're going to go get some, some of these toys, you get what you pay for. Get quality, I think. So many questions sent about links, what I like, what I use. Well, I got something new. Oh. Why is this angle bad? Stop it. Okay. Why do you even pick the ugliest glasses you could pick here, too? Like, the ugliest glasses that ever existed, you picked them. You found them. Congratulations. Ugliest glasses. Oh, wait, let's rewind. Parents, family, stop watching. Okay. Okay, too late. But open it. Okay, this is new. This is new. I've had- Looks like a small baseball bat. This one and another one that's still in my stash and absolutely love it. It sucks. You talked about this already and I don't want to hear it in my brain. It vibrates. This is the pebble. You need the pebble. Great for beginners, okay? Brad? Beginners? Is there levels? Also, the brand is woman owned, so yes, please. But this one, uh, it's like kind of intimidating. It's upside down in the case. I do feel like though, you know, after like a couple years of experimenting now, I'm ready for like the more Vegas threesomes. Tense ones, and some of you are gonna laugh because this the more intense one. You got a diesel motor in it. And you got a fire. Still not intense. You're gross, Kira. Like she can't get more trashy. It's crazy when you think Kira can't get more trashy. She gets more trashy. It's almost, I'm not even mad, I'm impressed. But it's like a thruster. Again, waterproof, what? and then it can insert up to five inches. This feels inappropriate. Anyway. It is. It is. For, especially when you know there's children, teenagers watching on YouTube. This, you shouldn't be able to advertise this stuff on YouTube. I'm sorry, you shouldn't be able to. And you have children on your Instagram, and their friends are going to find this someday. You know that Oscar and I think it's Addy watch this, they probably just laugh. I think Oscar now realizes, thank the Lord on high, that I escaped this. What in the f... Why is that funny? She, you know she's lack is doesn't use it. She just, she's getting paid to show these garbage products. Okay, I need to turn this off. The case charges the thing. That's the same thing for this as well as many... I can't even talk, I'm so excited. As well... You're so excited about dildos, you can't even talk. That's nice. Well, as many others. But if you haven't heard of Blessed, they are a toy store. And they're all about sexual wellness, which you guys know. Is that what they're calling it now? Sexual wellness? AKA cheap Chinese garbage? Well, I tell you every day, I'm very keen on this subject. I want everybody to feel comfortable and confident and like them best, like them, like them best selves. Like. Okay, you're getting paid to do this advertisement? Cut the crap out that you mess up and redo the line. Your best self, okay? Golly. Are you saying I'm that you can't be your best self unless you have dildos? Is that what you're telling everybody? Is that really what you're saying, Kira? Maybe you can't be. You can't be your best self unless you're sharing your fiance with people in Vegas. That you can't be a cuckold. You can't be your best self. That's that's again, that's what I'm talking about. Kira is the antithesis or whatever the word is. Oh, my lights are all crooked. I gotta fix that. Like here is the opposite of where we should go. So whatever she says, let's do the opposite. So if you can't be your authentic self without getting cheap dildos from China, do the opposite of what Kira says, okay? If you can't be open, like there's, again, there's nothing wrong with this type of stuff. There really isn't. There really isn't. Even if like you are like a prude, Christian, whatever, it's, there's nothing wrong with this stuff. If you're consenting and doing all that stuff. It's just, she's gross. Everything she touches is trash. <laughs> but yeah, you can charge- Every time Kira cocks about dildos, an angel loses its wings. The case, I think this is to me what makes the brand so unique is just the discreet packaging if you're gonna like- Is it? It's got micro USB. So modern. Travel, or just in general, like obviously I have children in my house, so it's nice to not have them just look like what they are. I mean- Uh, they do, though. And, or you, they can hear you talking about it a million times and they can watch your videos. You dummy. They're locked and put away anyways, but still. I love that. And then for traveling, obviously, the fact that you don't need to bring the charger. Like, if it's for short-term travel, you can just, like, rely on the case. But the best part about all of this, besides the product, and that they're woman-owned. And the rubber. See? All of it's good. They're... Again. Cheap garbage. Who cares if it's woman-owned? Partnering with me on a giveaway again. So if you guys click the link down below... Don't click the link down below in this garbage, okay? It is garbage. It is straight hot garbage. Don't. It is a fake thing it's it's a scam it's literally basically a scam okay you get like this coupon again you know and maybe one out of a million win if that i don't think anybody's ever said i won i won i've never even heard that but basically sends you a coupon for a thing that is 
already marked up by 4,000%. So it's so scammy. If you're gonna advertise a product, just advertise a product. Don't do this scammy giveaway stuff. You will get either a free toy or a gift card to the- See? Everybody who does this, do you get it? I think I even did it last time she did this. You go there, you either get a free toy or you get a gift card. Everybody gets a gift card. That's what happens here, okay? It's basically a discount code for something, and I'll say it again, that is already marked up. You're not getting a free toy. Her website, so like, you get something no matter what. That's the scam, and I hate it. That's why I don't like this company, because it's scamming you. You get something no matter what, and so you automatically think you win, but you don't. You're getting a coupon for like 30% off on a product that's already marked up well past 30%. They have stuff for everybody, which is really nice, because I feel like some of these sites and stuff, yikes. What, have you been to all the sites or something? Goes straight from zero to 10,000. I do want to mention they don't what? just have um, toys. They also do have like videos, a bunch of other things. You so this whole video is a dildo ad. Then it's like two questions about the wedding. You guys go explore for yourselves. Again, link down below, but I just wanted to mention that. Thank you so much to Alessa for sponsoring today's video. Kiss off Alessa or whatever your name is. You can kiss everybody's ass. The kids have a role. Yes, we... Okay. <laughs> is the question you're going to ask after the dildo ad about your children? Then don't do the ad, you moron. You gotta be kidding me. You can't make this up. Oh my god. Dildos, 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 vibrators, dildos, travel, dildos, travel. Ah, dildos, get a free dildo. How about your kids? Are they in the wedding? Totes. Totes they are. We tried to incorporate them as much as we could because, yes, we're joining lives. We but tried to our totally get them in the video. It's so than nice. Most we're in the video. Lives when they mix right. to get married. So right. it's not just our lives joining. The kids are joining. I feel like I'm not, I keep stopping because I'm like, am I, is this making sense? No! Nothing you have ever said makes sense. And you look like the Blair Witch here. Why do you look like the Blair Witch? Why did you film it outside with cars and stuff? Like, what is this video? And you got paid for it. So we tried to make it really special for them. The girls are going to be getting ready with me. Levi's going to be getting ready with him. We're doing a first dance with the kids. Bobber girl. Bring bear. Bring bear. Any way that we could include them, we definitely Any way we include more people so it looks like there's more people at our wedding. We will definitely say there's like 60 people. There's like 40 kids there. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying. 100%. Do you think you will feel changed personally once your wedding is over? No. 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 There's nothing you're doing different right now. All you're doing is spending a bunch of money to have an elopement party. Nothing has changed. You still have threesomes with strangers. You still smell farts. Still have nose zits. Nothing's going to change. You live together. Nothing has changed. I just don't understand why people who live together, who basically are married for all intents and purposes, get married. I understand the idea of like the benefits for like medical benefits. And I actually think that's okay, cool. That is a legitimate reason to get married. I'm on it. Like, I, I believe you because of the way medical expenses are. But I don't think that he has those. So literally, I don't see the point. There really isn't if you're already basically married. We're officially together. Because it's, it's a Christian union. You guys understand that weddings, marriage, the ceremony, the covenant, everything, that's a Christian thing. You know that, right? It's all stems. So if you reject all that stuff, why do you want it? I've never understood that about everybody wanting the marriage thing. Like I understand the union part where it's like legal and you can, it's binding certain ways and you get benefits. I get all that stuff, but why do you want the ceremony and the union and all that stuff that's all like the, based in Christianity when you absolutely don't believe in it? it? Make it make sense. Officially official. I don't think so. Actually, I know so, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's not gonna change anything. I, I no, I don't really think that- Who's editing this? Marriage does that. I think marriage is magical and it's fun and it's so. How do you know? Magical and fun. Who are you? What? What is it about marriage that makes it magical and fun that you are already engaged in right now? What is going to change when you get married? That it's if, if your relationship right now isn't magical and fun, marriage is not going to change that, Kira. You absolute donut. Creating your love and doing it with your loved ones, but it really doesn't change anything besides your taxes and what you call each other. Taxes. Exactly. Baby. So that's okay. So that makes sense. So it's a tax thing. Okay. This is baby. And you're like, she wants to get married to him so she can hire him as an employee and write him off. Taxes. <laughs> Why don't you just say that to begin with then? We're getting married because it's better for taxes. Okay. We understand then. I could even be like, okay, got it. Cool. Understood. I mean, I'll be excited and stuff. Yes, of you course. Are. You wake up the <laughs> nice day like, hi, how's it going? <laughs> 
so weird. When I think of that, it's like so weird. And, and we've already incorporated our lives together. Thank you. Thank you. Once we bought yeah. our house together, kind of cars together. Naturally yeah. incorporated. Where is the honeymoon going? In Africa, which is next to Mexico. <laughs> See. She has put herself in such a predicament pickle right now so many times that she's been saying it for like months where they're going. Now they're not doing anything. Now she's about to change it again with this face. With this face. Ready? I don't know yet. They don't even have it planned, dude. They don't even know where they're going. Guys, um, we'll probably book it. That, didn't she say in a video that it was mostly about the honeymoon? That she didn't want to spend a lot of money on the wedding because it was wanted to save all her money for the honeymoon. The honeymoon was the biggest part of this whole thing. And now they don't even know what they're doing. They're going to Chuck E. Cheese. That's where they're going. Legoland. The day before, because that's that's the way that him and I rumble and tumble. I thought you were alone. That's the way him and I rumble and tumble. Booking it the day before you go. Okay. I suppose Oscar's taking the kids after that. Being, yeah, I thought you, you were don't looping. like people and have a whole party when you're alone. See, she gets so upset when people call her out on the things that she literally says. Well, I thought you were eloping. Good question, because you've been saying it, Kira, forever. And now she's like, oh my gosh, just why do you even ask questions? Because you said it! Oh my God. Sometimes you just need the swear pillow. You just need the swear pillow. Kira is a swear pillow person. You gotta be like, you gotta scream into the abyss because she's so stupid. I'm sorry, Becky. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm See, now it's it's ugly Becky or whatever her name is. You said this. You're the one who said this. You've been saying it. And now you're like, I'm gay, Becky. Buddy, buddy Becky or whatever she calls him. Petty Becky. Stop, Becky. I shouldn't have said that. I exactly. It was all wrong. It was. So why don't you just answer the question? And so she did answer the question, but she answered like a total D-bag instead. Instead of just saying, you guys, you know what? You're right. I was mistaken. <laughs> Laugh it off. No, she has to get all vitriolic and angry. I get it, though. Fiance's logical kind response while I'm thinking, blah, 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 is the over-criticization, no profile. Oh, so it's the haters. Just because they have no profile. I have a profile. You can see me. Answer my question. That's the thing about Kira. She's just so gross. And she, she has no idea the lies she makes or the things she says. It's gone from an elopement to this is absolutely not an elopement anymore. She'd be like, ee, 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 Becky. I do feel like our press. You're the Becky here, by the way. You're the Becky. Ceremony. Apologies to all the Beckys out there. If like we were just having a private ceremony and just with like the 10 people that are going to be there, then that I feel like would be considered eloping. I nope. Also not eloping. Also, you did say it was going to be a private ceremony. Also, you did say all these things and now it's all changed. So why do you just say, like, this is why this is, you guys don't belong together. This is why you shouldn't be planning a, a life and a marriage together. You have zero idea about anything. You can't even stick to one simple concept or plan. It used to be all these things. Now it's completely changed. And now you're mad at people for asking questions about why? When you make all of your money on here, saying these things to the camera. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's so dumb. I think we, no, 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 I think. I know. <laughs> when I made the video, we are eloping, which I will link down below. I was explaining what we were doing as far as our marriage. We That's eloping. Still didn't know really what we wanted to do. So why did you call it elopement then? Why did you call it that? For clickbait? Then admit it. As a reception, for a reception, and all of that. At the time that I made that video, I know that we wanted to exchange vows and get married in front of witnesses. That's called the wedding! Butthole! So a very small amount of people and the children, which is... Eloping used to mean running away and getting married with telling without telling anyone. Yep. But that's not really the case anymore. Nope. Still is what it means. These days, eloping entails planning a small wedding day that is entirely and only about the couple. Okay, who's putting this on here? Who wrote that? That's what every wedding is. It's about the couple. The wedding is literally a celebration of the couple. An elopement is you going off not telling anybody and getting married in secret. That is literally what an elopement is. You idiot. And you're trying to be like, no, it's not that anymore. It means it's, a, it's entirely about the couple. The elopement and the wedding both are entirely about the couple. You morons. They are typically smaller ceremonies and can take place in a venue. Nope. A smaller ceremony, still a wedding. Still a wedding. It's just a... Say it with me, smaller wedding, a more intimate wedding. 
not an elopement. It's completely different. Stop trying to justify it. You are making it worse. You now look even dumber if that was possible. I can't even believe it was. It is possible. In these modern times, elopement is considered non-traditional, intimate, intentional way of getting married. Okay. Are you telling me that you're not doing a non-traditional and intimate, intentional way of getting married? Because you are. An elopement is not what you are doing. All you had to do is say, you know what? We changed our mind. We're not getting eloped. Her words. Just say, we thought about it and we decided not to because five people said they were coming. Today, elopements come in many flavors. While some will just involve a small wedding with two people. Notice how it says, involve a small wedding. That's not an elopement anymore. An elopement and a wedding are completely different things. Both are coming together of a couple, but both are different things. A wedding entails a ceremony, a thing people come together. An elopement doesn't entail, in, entail any of those things. It's both of you going off in secret and getting married in front of Elvis at Vegas or something like that and waiting with three people you're going to have sex with afterwards. That's what it is. Stop trying to change the definition. Like, this brings me back to, like, okay, for the last two years for COVID, okay? I'm sorry. I'm going to say it. They literally changed definitions of things. Like, they changed the definition of what a freaking vaccine is. That's what they're trying to do here, Fauci. That's what's going on. Didn't foil the hat off. Necessary witnesses and the efficient others include. That's called a wedding. You're so stupid. I'm so angry that you said it. Like, just say that you're stupid. Everybody hates me, and I made a mistake. It's considered eloping. If you look up eloping, a lot of people think it's just running away. And okay, well, let's look it up together since I have a dictionary in front of me. Definition. Elope. Are you guys ready? Here we go. In the dictionary, elope, run away secretly in order to get married, especially without parental consent. Later, he eloped with one of the maids. Literally the definition. Usage examples. The couple eloped in the middle of the night. So where were they getting their evidence? So they're getting their, they're getting their definition from a website called Simply Eloped, which that's, we're not taking their definition. We're taking the definition of what everybody on earth thinks it is. Simply Eloped probably just wants to take your money. And it's like wedding photographers are saying, let's say it's different. Don't listen to wedding photographers about anything, okay? They don't know anything. <laughs> anyway, the dictionary says what it is. Getting married. That can mean eloping, but there's other meanings. Nope. No, it can't. There's one definition of elopement, and there's only one. You don't get to change it. You can't even read, okay? So no. As well, but we're calling it a private ceremony now so that people don't get so. No, nope. a private ceremony is also just a wedding with a private ceremony. Cool? You cannot say it's an elopement because it has nothing to do with, you're not eloping. Eloping is getting married in secret. Set. We're having a private ceremony and then an hour afterwards we are having our reception. wedding. It's a wedding. You're having a ceremony which not everybody's invited to and then a party after. That's literally a wedding. Literally. And then the other thing I wanted to say is a lot of people were correcting me and don't get me wrong girl. I messed up. I smell like shit. Yeah, you smell like shit. Oh, spell. Both. I don't talk very advanced. I don't talk very advanced. That needs to be a shirt, does it not? I don't talk very advanced. Kira, 2023. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, you cannot make this up. If I thought that she wasn't dumb, I'd say she's a genius. But she's not. And it's just her being dumb. I don't talk advanced. And they had to make a cut. They literally had to make a cut for I don't talk advanced. Very advanced. But you... <laughs> Do you wear a wedding dress to get eloped? I think a lot. Okay, so are you trying to prove people wrong by saying that because you bought a wedding dress that we shouldn't have assumed you're getting eloped? Even though you said the words, I'm getting eloped. I, and eloped isn't even the word anyway, but maybe it is. She's like, does the people who get eloped wear a wedding dress? Nope, not usually probably, but you still bought one and you said you're getting eloped. I cannot believe this, what I'm hearing right now. I cannot believe it. People think it's rushed. Um, a lot of times people get engaged and a year after they get married. So this isn't rushed. Where we live, people get married in months. Yeah, it doesn't matter. That's also being rushed. Just because other people do it in months doesn't mean it's not what your logic. Just it hurts me right in the, in the soul. 
So other people get married fast. Does that mean it's rushed? Yes. Yes, it means those people too rushed into a wedding. It is a rush, <laughs> you idiot. So other people uh, take three months to get married. Like, yes, they rush too. Holy cow, my brain is about to explode. And I'm talking months after they meet, not just months after they get engaged. So where we- What happened months after you met? Live, this is beyond- Threw your family under the bus. Normal, if not we're kind of weird for waiting. We obviously aren't waiting the whole year we were originally going to, we're gonna get married in- Yeah, so you keep changing everything. We were gonna get eloped, I was gonna get dressed, we are gonna be private, we weren't gonna tell anybody. Now it's completely 100% different and Becky's mad. Becky's mad. June, which was an entire year after we were engaged, but he does taxes for work. And so we would be not really able to plan from January, well, the end of January. That's a team, Mike. Until June when we get married. So there would be no planning taking place during that time anyways. And so it just made sense for us to get married. That's the only time that she said anyways properly. That's the only time it works. In January, and go on our honeymoon, and then he can do his taxes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what taxes are we talking about here? I think another one was the budget and the planning for the actual wedding. To be totally transparent, too. Oh, now you're going to be transparent? Thanks. I mean, this is no secret, but we both have been engaged before. Both. Or and for... Uh, correction, to be completely transparent, what you should have said. I mean, technically, yes, he's been engaged, but also then was married. You were not, so let's be completely transparent. For long periods of time. Okay, but he was also married. He was married. So to us, when we got engaged, we've done the whole engagement time. And he's also done the marriage thing too. Before, if you're proposing, that's because you want to get married, not because you want to wait to get married, or why would you get engaged? Stupid. We already got a list of big things that we want to do yeah. in the next year. We haven't even got married yet. Like what? What can, you, what can you do that you can't do when married? I don't understand. So what can't you do now, but you can do when you're married, except for taxes? What kind of stupid logic is that? But again, these people are like you. We are seeing a train wreck unfold, and that's why so many people are watching this because it is going to be a train wreck, and we are going to watch it unfold. And we're likely, and I swear, I know you guys probably think I'm crazy. We will end up feeling sorry for her. That's how bad this is going to be. I guarantee it. I want to emphasize it really is normal. I think that people have just who have followed me for a long time have seen that like before. In my past, I was engaged for a very long time. Who cares, man? And that was that relationship. That the relationship, the relationship wasn't about the engagement. You had children together. But she's like, see, we were engaged. It didn't really work. And so me, but you literally had a family together. Is that more important or is the engagement or the wedding more important than family? Because that's what she's saying right now. The marriage is what makes it real, not the fact that we have children together. And that is how some people's relationship is and are, but that's not how we want to do things. Yeah. Clearly. Clearly. Correct. How do you know he's the one? Are you nervous to kiss in front of the whole family? How do who, the whole family? Who's going? I know he's the one. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, we were friends first, and he was my... I already knew he was a husband, so we're there. How is he the one? Because we like to fart. And it's really hard to find someone else who likes to sniff farts. Like, how do you even bring that in conversation? Like, it took us a while, but one day we're like, you like farts? I like farts. Oh, my God. Did we just become best friends? Let's get eloped. <laughs> I think when somebody understands you emotionally and you feel that you understand each other and there's a common respect. You guys have no respect for each other or yourselves or the people around you. So get wrecked. Desire to be around each other, do things together, learn things together, go through things together. Teach her how to spell, Preston, please. Maybe you should learn things together like grammar. When you want everything together in more than just like a husband like everything and extra people come on We have so much that we want including extra people in Vegas the wife way I feel like that's when you know and like again a big thing for both of us I think both is really just the reading of minds is oh you read each other's minds Is that, is that how this is that how you're justifying this we read each other's minds we finish each other's sandwiches. Incredible, you know? Yeah. Am I nervous to kiss in front of everybody? I'm nervous for all of it. Like, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous for you. Like, I can't wait to see what goes on because there's going to be booze. There's going to be fights. There's going to be drama. I need to see what's going on at this wedding. It's for our like, I can't wait. Grand entrance the most, I think. Oh, the grand entrance. And welcome the Disgustoids. Yay! <laughs> they ruined each other.
each other's families for each other. They smell farts and they open their marriage up to other people. Yeah, congrats, big entrance, everybody. Because that's like awkward. I know Leia has been so excited for the wedding. That's what's awkward to you? Your grand entrance to your wedding, that's what's awkward? Do you consider that awkward? Not having a dildo advertisement before answering questions about your children? That's what's awkward to you, not your forehead? That's what's awkward? Admitting that you do threesomes on the internet for your kids, that's not awkward? So the, the fart smelling, that's not awkward to you? Okay, okay, you said it. I mean, did she get her dress yet? She did, and she loves it. Oh, beautiful. Are you near a highway or something? The train, you like the train. Her dress for our wedding has like a train behind it that comes off, so she doesn't want to wear it. But she's really excited about that part. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your kids are gonna hate you, Kira. And it sucks. I know I say that because I don't want them to. But you're you're gonna have the worst relationship with your children because you are the greediest, most selfish person I've ever seen. And we're talking people I've covered on here, like Micah, like Trisha Paytas, like craziness. Okay, there are people I've covered, and you are literally the most selfish I have ever seen. Tiana Licardo Ravolio, Ravioli, that one's coming up soon. She's pretty selfish too. But you're disgusting, and your kids will absolutely hate you, and you know it. Your greatest fear after marriage. Falling Falling in love with the nanny's husband. Into habits. Oh, falling into habits. And routines. It's right. Very right, that's the fear. Falling into habits and routines. That's a fear of yours? You don't want to have habits and routines? That's a fear? <laughs> okay. All right. Sounds like everything's going to be not chaotic. Very easy to do that when you're together for a long time. I have been guilty of it myself. I think so have you. It's very normal. So then why, do you, why are you scared of it? That's stupid. You're telling everybody who has... Who has normal lives that they should be hate that? That's so dumb to me. I always put effort to avoiding that. Yeah. Avoiding it? What? That's a necessity of life. Are you serious? Avoiding normal things. This is definitely going to end real well. Beyonce have some do's and yeah, yeah. don'ts advice planning from a previous wedding. I do. And I think I've applied it here and I actually enjoyed wedding planning. First one. Like we kind of mentioned that earlier. I feel like so bad every time we say it like that, but it's also part... See, she had to interrupt him because, I feel so bad because he was totally married to my best friend. Like, I feel so bad that we're saying that. <laughs> Let's keep talking. Of wedding planning and being transparent is saying what you have learned. You haven't been transparent through this whole thing. You have lied about this entire process. 100%. And then when someone calls you out, you're like, Becky's mad. And like, well, it's not a diss on anyone else. Right, it's, but I just don't want anybody to take it like that. Like, it's right. strictly just like a it's what the we wedding learned. Planning, yeah. right? like, you haven't learned anything. You suck at this. First one is set the budget for the venue set a loose budget for everything outside the venue. range don't get caught up in a strict budget why are you editing like this because if you get caught up in a strict budget you will hate it one thousand percent it's not a loose budget like stupid adjust stupid advice here's some advice don't marry the nanny's husband crazy Free for all. It's not a stop being selfish that's a one too that, that'll work for a lot of people crazy difference in price give him the mic what is your wedding advice one simple thing give, give him the mic it's not yes. working patience we love that wow patience thanks dad that's his advice in life and honesty i will you've, you've had to learn patience with you because you're garbage and honesty gosh the amount of times i've had that since i was just be honest respect no, that is it. Did he just say respect and then walked in front of Kira? Did do you, do you know who your daughter is by any chance? Have you ever met her once before? Respect? So are you saying that like she did respect things and this has all been a built of respect up to this point? Are you serious? Respect. Well, that ship sailed before the wedding, so tough beans, I guess. <laughs> Not, we don't want to lecture. <laughs> yeah, don't tell them that, Dad, because this whole thing's built off disrespect. Are you an idiot? Just wanted advice. <laughs> love. <laughs> love. It's all about love and threesomes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? <laughs> Dildos. Where the wedding are you most excited for? I think Dildos. Seeing the kids like experience it and have fun, and but like, this is the most extravagant thing I've ever been to. Your garbage wedding that was built on a budget is going to be the most extravagant thing they've ever been to. Okay.
Doubt it. And then also, obviously, just... This is going to be extravagant. First of all, is it going to be extravagant? Do you even know what the word means? Us, like, being... Oh, my gosh. I guess extravagant, extravagant can mean other things, different people. Like, people who live in, you know... And abject poverty and trailer parks and stuff, they're, they're extravagance is like Red Lobster, right? My extravagance is Red Lobster. Some others' extravagance is like, you know, owning a hotel in Dubai. I guess it is a level. Husband and wife, which I, I don't, I will get used to that probably someday, but it's... You won't. Because after this, you'll be like, hi, ring! And he's still not going to show his face on camera. Thank the Lord, though. Sounds so weird. Yeah, same thing. Why does it sound weird? You know why it sound, keep, she keeps saying it sounds so weird? Because it is weird, Kira. Because she was he was someone else's husband. Your best friend's husband. You're never going to escape that. And you know it. And it's karma. But I felt nervous when you standing in the answer rooms. Patience. <laughs> <laughs> cackle, cackle, cackle. Here's, a, here's a no cackling anymore. When you're married, no cackles allowed. Do more, okay? Like, thank God, I'm getting hungry. I need my whiskey. I know. What's your question? Are you going to change your last name? Yeah. Yeah. Smith. <laughs> of course she is. My dad is, has an opinion about this. Hyphenate. Either the middle or the last, all right? Severton will still be there on page. Severton? Well, I'm out of But I will. Why does he care? Who cares? Not. Do you really want this one? I guess he wants his last name to be per perpetuated, but why would they? They're going to be Morales, aren't they? Kids are going to be Morales. Like when people are like, "What is your what's your full name?" I'm not going like, to. Their last names are Morales, right? The kids' last names are Morales. Kira Renee, secret to the Smith. I'm going to say Kira Renee Smith. Take the Renee off. <laughs> 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 Kira Renee Smith. 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 Kira Renee Smith
please. Because even if you don't use it, at least you have a little bit extra stuff floating around. Just please be careful. It is going to be a rough year. I, I, I Every time growing up, all the New Year's like, this is going to be my year. Like Kira says, this is my year coming up. This, I don't think anybody feels right now that this is going to be anybody's year. Nobody feels that this is going to be a good year. There's nothing to look forward to. Nothing. It is going to get more, more expensive, more scary. Everything is going to suck this year. Sorry. So let's come on this channel and at least make light of it. Have some fun with it. Shall we laugh about it? Cry about it together? Be angry about it together? But in the end, snark about it together. I think that's the most important snarking with a purpose. That's what we do here at the Dad Jones Podcast. So if you've got ideas of things and stories that you want me to cover, my perspective on different stories, different things, not political, but like things going on in pop culture. Oh, you should check this out. Something's going viral. Cringy videos. Send them my way. Send them my way because I want to expand the snark. Snark for all. Hey, Ooh, that was a big side goose goose. You guys are amazing. You are the best thing that your kids have ever seen. You need to be around and protect your children. You are incredible and you are dang, dang valuable. Don't you ever forget it. Especially not this year because it's gonna be a rough one. Okay, I will see you when I see you.